So welcome back to the channel guys. I'm gonna show you something really awesome. So only a few days ago, Llama 2 got launched from Facebook and it was the best model in open source. But now, within a few days, we have even better models. Introducing Stable Beluga 1 and 2 from Stability AI. Stability AI is the company who is behind Stable Diffusion and they came up with these two models which are based on Llama 2. And now, guess what? they are at the top of leaderboard so obviously i had to dive a little bit deep into this model and i'm going to show you what this model is capable of and uh, how you can use this model to make cool applications so let's start this before i dive deep into this i'm going to show you that this model was previously known as free Willy, but they changed the name because orca is a killer whale and this model was harmless and Baluga is a pretty harmless animal, so they wanted to change it. Here they say that Stability AI proudly announces Stable Baluga 1 and its successor, Stable Baluga 2, formerly known as Freewilly, two powerful new open source large language models. Now, both models demonstrate exceptional reasoning capabilities across a variety of benchmarks. Stable Baluga 1 leverages original Llama 65 billion foundation model and was fine-tuned with a synthetically generated data set and Stable Baluga 2 leverages Llama 2 models. Now, if you go to the leaderboard, so even though they are using the old Llama models, they are still number four. And the latest one is like the king of large language models in open source. Now, they are claiming that they are able to get, at least on benchmark, capabilities of Turbo GPT, GPT 3.5, and this is amazing because remember GPT 3.5 is not that old it's basically almost a year old and when that came out people were losing their mindset oh my god this is like AI but now you have that capabilities of model even better in some cases open source for free now let's dive into how this model was trained so the training this table beluga model was directly inspired by methodology pioneered by Microsoft's paper Orca. So if you don't know, they are talking about this paper. Really interesting read if you have time, but let me show you why they use this paper. This model, Orca, which has 13 billion parameters, it is really smaller compared to GPT-4. So they used GPT-3.5 to train that 13 billion parameter, and then they trained it on GPT-4's data. So instead of going from 13 billion parameter and straight training that model with GPT-4, they used an intermediary step to actually improve its performance and then they use high quality data from GPT-4. So they did the same thing here. While our data generation process is similar, we differ in our data sources. So they used GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 synthetically generated data to actually train the open source Llama 70 billion model to improve its performance. Now, one important thing is that they only used 10% of the data which was used by Orca paper. So imagine Orca paper used like 6 million, they just only used 600,000. Now, let me show you what kind of data they used. So for example, if there is a question that what type of molecule sits within a membrane and the answer was this kind of molecule, right? So these kinds of synthetically generated data they used. Another example is, a teacher which of the following sentence is nonsensical and the answer is orange juice does not taste good with cereal that's a pretty nonsensical answer and uh, I would say these kinds of synthetically generated data sets were used to train and fine-tune that 70 billion parameter llama 2 model and the performance is basically ridiculous so if you want to see right now the model is already performing the best in open source as I showed you here it's outperforming Llama 2 70 billion model and every other model, including the Falcon and Vulcan models, which were previously considered state of the art. Now let's look at the numbers a little more in detail. So here they are using Chat GPT 3.5 Turbo and Stable Beluga 2 is outperforming it in quite a few categories. Now keep that in mind that Chat GPT 3.5 was not tested in some of these benchmarks such as truthful QA. So we don't have numbers for that. But look at this benchmark, GPT for all benchmarks. Stable Beluga 2 and Stable Beluga 1, both are competing really strong. Even though Stable Beluga 1 was trained on Llama first version 65 billion parameter, it is already winning in three categories. Although Stable Beluga 2 is winning in five, but that shows why Stable Beluga 1 is at number four in the leaderboard, even though it's a quite old model. Now on AGI eval, 
all zero shot evaluations stable beluga 2 is look at this out of eight categories it is winning in six of them and one it's tying with gpt4 now in sat math still gpt4 is winning significantly but six categories stable beluga 2 is winning and this is an open source model now about that open source yes it is an open source model but because it is using data synthetic data from gpt 3.5 and gpt 4 you cannot use it commercially with llama 2 you can because llama 2 models you can use it commercially as well unless you have a 700 million user base google or microsoft of the world you can use it but not for this model but you can use this model for research purposes as well i'm going to link this orca paper in the description if you want to read it and also this link to stable beluga 2 if you want to play around with stable beluga 2 in the cloud there are lots of spaces there that you can go and play around with or i'm going to create a tutorial when somebody creates a quantized version of the model how you can install it and run it on your local machine stay tuned for that and if you like the video consider subscribing or subscribe to the newsletter see you next time